Today on Terraria, we are gonna be summoning 19 different minions and using them to unlock the final minion. Hey guys, welcome back to the realm of infinite suffering, where the max number of minions is whatever I want it to be. In the last episode, guys, we uh, defeated Moonlord with the infinite summons hack. It was still kind of a tricky fight because that guy is real strong and I am real dumb talking super smooth brain over here. So what I want to do today, guys, is I want to unlock one more thing, and then we're going to fight Empress of Light during the day when she's super deadly, and uh, we're going to unlock the Terra Prisma, which is the ultimate summoning weapon. It's uh, kind of intense. I haven't actually used it, but I've heard the legends. First, guys, I want to show you some stuff that I got, because obviously if I have uh, not 19 right now, because I need to get uh, Duke Fishron's summon weapon, the... Um, What's it called again? Tempest Staff, I believe. We need to get that. Uh, right now, I just have Truffle Worms in its place. But these are all the summon weapons, except for Tempest Staff and Terra Prisma. So these are the uh, pre-hard mob ones. You haven't seen the Slime Staff yet. Just a bunch of baby slimes. Pretty cute, am I right? We got uh, Vampire Frog Staff. Just a bunch of vampire frogs. You guys can go away. You're boring and lame. We also have the Sanguine Bats, which are kind of cool. Very similar to the daggers, guys. And I should probably mention the fact that I have this guy with me right now, this big boy. He's part of the Stardust set, um, so I'm actually gonna be taking off this set, replacing with the Hallowed Armor, because the Hallowed Armor lets you dodge, and if you're gonna fight uh, Empress of Light during the day when she one-hits everything, you're not gonna wanna get hit by her, so dodging is good. You should replace all of your defense for evasion, apparently. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy. He's kind of cool. He's actually, you know, pretty strong. Um, and, I'll, and also you guys might've noticed that I'm flying around on a friggin' celestial starboard. This thing can go 83 miles per hour horizontally and even faster vertically, all the way up to 137 miles per hour. Absolutely incredible and I love it. Thank you, Moon Lord, for dying so that I could live on the celestial starboard. Oh, one more thing I got, guys, something crazy. Soaring Insignia grants infinite wing and rocket boot flight, increases flight and jump mobility. So now I can just fly around the map like this all day long, up and sort of down, but down is a little slow. So I just put on my slime instead to fall 102 miles per hour. You get the idea, guys. It's pretty wonderful. Okay, so let's say goodbye to this guy and we'll put on our hallowed armor, get that little extra, uh, I guess you can call it a buff. It's a, it's a thing, you know? Now, if you kill something, you get to dodge. Is it, why, why is it so dark out? Is it because of the friggin' rain? All right, guys, moving on. Uh, we have a few more things I wanna show you. We got the Desert Tiger. I'm not gonna say too much about this guy right now, but basically, he's incredible. Basically, an absolute mad lad to the furthest extent possible. I forgot to put on my Moon Lord mask. I love this thing. I'm the friggin' Moon Lord, dude. So this tiger, guys, I found out something amazing about him. I'll tell you about it after, okay? It's okay, I mean, they're, they all do, like, you know, the Ravens do 69, the Deadly Sphere Staff does 55 damage. I don't really like these guys too much, to be honest. One of you guys mentioned in the last video that I should have tried to take on Moon Lord with the Stardust Cells, and these are the Stardust Cells, but they teleport, so if you have too many of them, um, they get really laggy. Let me see if I can show you. They just need to just just attack something. Find a thing and attack it. Come on. Come with me. What's that? You, you can't keep up? Well, I'm pretty damn fast. Why is there no enemies around, man? Where the hell did all the enemies go? Oh, there you go. You see, there's a little bit of a lag spike there. I don't like that, because you get any more than this, and suddenly your computer starts shitting its pants. Not good. Uh, what do we got left here? I think that's pretty much it. Here's the thing about the Desert Tiger, guys. Starts off, if you have one to three summons, he's just a regular old, like, baby tiger. You won't even get to see it unless I uh, turn off the whole use time thing, but he's a he's an armored tiger now, right? And and you can see how much damage he does. Uh, let's see it again. Let's go do some damage, bro. Get over here. Get over here and do some damage. He just flies around like this. Tiger ball! I love it! Show him what you're made of. Do, you, do we need to go in a friggin'... No, that's not a... Here, come, come down here. You know what, while we're at it, I wanna, I wanna get my suspicious looking tentacle out. He provides light. Isn't that nice? What a nice guy. This is like, Terraria is so easy when you get to the end of it, guys. The hardest part's get to the end. And I cheated, so, you know. What do you gotta be? No, wait, where are you going? Stop. This guy's the worst, man. Oh, we should just probably go east. You know, where all the crimson is. 
Okay, I just I want to show you guys this because this is this is a game changer. Let me show you what my tiger can do. Boom! 750 damage. Apparently he can also um, crit things, which is nice. 750 damage, and you can just keep him going, depending on how many minions you have. And I think my max right now is 1,000. Watch this! Looks like it's doing nothing, right? Did four full casts on this thing. Now look at how much damage this guy does, if we can. Might have to zoom out. Boom! 3,000 damage! And we can keep going with that, and there's not going to be any lag, because it's just one thing. It's just math. No crazy shit going on here, guys. All right? I mean, there is some crazy, crazy shit going on here. I want to see if I can max this guy out. See how much max damage we can do at the number of minions that we have. Okay, I'm zooming out, guys. We got to be able to see this, and it's getting kind of tricky to see. This guy's flying all over the map. I'm just trying to have a good time, man. I feel like the enemies don't want to even come near me because they know just how badly they're going to get destroyed. There's an enemy. That's No, that's you. What, where did you... Where did you just go? 18,000 damage from one hit. This guy is unstoppable. And I'm pretty sure you can just keep going. But I think what we're going to do is just send him home. And we're going to summon every single thing except for the Tempest and the Terra Prisma. We're going to go fight Duke Fishron. Get the uh, Tempest Staff. Summon that as well. And then fight Empress of Light during the day. Let's go! This is going to get ridiculous really fast, guys. One full cast of each thing. I don't even know how many this summons. It's like 20-something, probably. It's gonna get really bad, I think, in terms of lag, because a lot of these guys do projectiles. Okay, I've got the spiders, so next up is the sanguine bats. There we go. Optic staff. Pirate staff, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Pygmies, desert tiger. Just one cast this time, guys. I know we can make them stronger, and we will later. This is, I'm just trying to get like kind of an equal amount of each thing. That includes you, bro, and there we go. This is ridiculous, especially with these birds on my head, guys. Like, look at this. This should be illegal. Technically, it kind of is. If games had laws, I think one of the laws would be thou shalt not hack the game and completely destroy it. Let's go daytime again, guys, so I can see. Still raining. It's just gonna rain forever. What can you do? Look at all these guys. Look at them all. All we gotta do is just throw our flesh catcher into the ocean, and Duke Fishron's gonna come out and be all like, Ugh! and I'm just gonna kick his ass. Come here, Fishron! Oh boy. Duke, are you okay? Mr. Fishron? I know, I'm getting a little bit of lag too. I don't, is it, it, whose end is it on? Mine or yours? Who knows? He's been awoken and defeated like a little baby. Who's a little baby? It's you, not the person watching. You're great, especially since you smashed the like button super hard. Because, look at this. How could you not smash the like button for this monstrosity of a whatever you want to call it? I don't, I don't even, it's, it's, a, it's an orgy. An orgy of minions. Mm-hmm. Okay, should we send all these guys home? I know we just got them, but let's just take a look at the Tempest Staff by itself, okay? There they are. And, and it, if I'm playing legitimately, I think I would have, like, how many slots? This one doesn't do anything for my slots. I'd probably have, like, none. Okay, well, whatever. These are, these are Sharknados, guys. Let's just test them out real quick. Who wants to get Sharknadoed? Anybody? Anybody want to get sh Sharknadoed? I bet you they don't. Whoa, are you shooting sharks out? That's crazy. <laughs> that's gonna lag a lot, I'm pretty sure, guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna summon them all again, guys, and we're gonna see if that's enough to take out the Empress. My other option for taking out the Empress is just to use one uh, tiger, maybe? The tiger and the dragon together might be nice. I don't know. I want to I wanna kill Fishron again, man. I really do. Let's try and kill Fishron with just the tiger and see what happens, okay? Just gonna cast that out for a bit. What is this? Attracts a legendary creature which flourishes in water in combat. Oh. Well, this is fun. <laughs> okay. Thanks, bro. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get this boy out here. Duke! Where are you? There he is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! No lag, no nothing, guys. Just bump, 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 and he's dead. Tell you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna we're gonna summon them all, a little bit of each, and we're gonna test them out. See if that can can beat the Empress. Okay. So I believe these guys will attack a prismatic lace wing if they see it, which means that uh, if we come across one, Empress of Light is gonna spawn pretty much instantly. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna try that first before I try and spawn her during the day. Hello. It's a very small, hallowed area. Oh, there it is. You guys gonna kill it? Yeah, they killed it. Here she is. What's up, girl? Woo! I'm gonna fly away on my thing. 
so you can't hurt me. <laughs> oh, she coming. So she actually did hurt me this time, but I got away. Doesn't matter too much, but I might as well, you know, just stay the hell away from her. Man, this girl, she comes fast. She just, she really wants to kick my ass, ow. Okay, so you hurt me a little bit. Wow, what do you want, a medal? I'm not giving you one, okay? Very cool, but don't ever do it again. You're, do you're doing it again. Just hurry up and die, man. Jeez. Really, all those minions and it took me that long to kill you? Lady, what the heck? Oh, I didn't realize I was bumping into her projectiles there. You might want to go away. Your mom's dead. Having all 19 groups of you here was fantastic, but I think we might want to just have the one. Yeah, everything is all dark. I didn't mean to get rid of you, dude. Oh, God, not a giant flying fox. I don't give a fox about that. Oh, my God, did you see that? Oh, it brings a tear to my eye, guys. So I just realized that I should be looking for a prismatic lace wing right now instead of summoning this guy. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, hey, check it out. Look at that prismatic lace wing. So if we just take out something crap from our inventory, we have this now. Consumable. Be careful not to damage it. Can I just use it now to summon her? Is that the way it works? Or I think if I consume it, it might just release it, but I'm not completely sure, guys. Let me just go ahead and... Uh, Get my tiger back out here and make it daytime. Put my max minions on 2,000 because I didn't know if uh, I didn't know if 1,000 was enough, guys. We got to get this damage up. I had it all the way up to 18,000 a minute ago, so I want to go. I want to go to 20 at least. How much health does the uh, Empress of Light have? Because <laughs> if we can get enough of these, we can just one shot her. How's that for an Uno reverse card? Max life 70,000. Oh, this bitch is gonna get ripped apart. Well, 98,000. That's an expert mode without her going crazy. Apparently her damage doesn't change. So 98,000 damage should kill her. Should we try and one shot this lady? I don't know. Kill this thing. 16,000 damage. What a chance. Keep going. There's not, there's no limit, right? There's definitely no limit to how much this guy can do. Yo, I don't think, I don't think this damage is going up any higher. You know what guys, I think I may have broke the game again. It has happened before where if I go a little too crazy with the uh, summons, the game just stops working properly. So, huh, maybe we'll just stick to a thousand. I'm well aware that I have not gotten any life fruit in this playthrough guys, but that's fine. We don't need life fruit. Yo, why can't I, oh, there it is. Kill it. Oh God, oh God, kill it for me, please. Kill the thing, oh shit. Hmm. First of all, can I have my shit back? Thank you. <laughs> That's good. I, I have way too many platinum coins. I'm going to put those away. There. I'm going to die again. I'm going to die again. She's going to kill me again. She can kill me. I killed her instead. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So, uh, turns out maybe the best way to do that is with the desert tiger. 73,000 damage per second. That's how much damage we just did. 73,000. That's a lot of damage. There it is. Oh, hurtful Terra Prisma, guys. I got no room. Open it up. What do we got? A Night Glow. 59 magic damage. Doesn't sound like a lot. Something's up with that. It must do something really good. And there it is. Hurtful Terra Prisma. 109 summon damage because we got that plus 10% damage on it. Um, so obviously, if we... If we, if we spawn one right now, we're just gonna... If we summon one, we're just gonna get the one. But that'll give us a chance to look at it, okay? So you go away. Let me zoom back in. And let's check out these Terra Prismas. Okay. Oh, someone's gonna get messed up with these Terra Prismas. Let me just... Okay, yeah, that's nice. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Wonder how these guys would be against the Empress of Light. Hmm. I keep coming back to the Hallow, guys, because uh, it's just a nice place to hang out. Much like in real life, I don't want to be at my own place because it's super messy. <laughs> oh my god. So they're just going to keep going backwards, eh? How will I even know how many there are? Whatever, I'm just going to keep summoning until I think there's a thousand, I guess. So, okay, I have a thousand Terra Prismas now, guys. Who to fight? That's the question. Moon Lord, maybe. Got our sigil right here. There we go. Impending Doom is approaching. Hmm. Okay, Moon Lord, if you say so. <laughs> well, I can dodge an attack, guys, so that's nice. Could y'all maybe hook me up with some more immunity in a second? He's totally gonna spawn as soon as I run out. Oh, he literally did. Oh my God. Dude, I am so sorry to do this to you. <laughs> ah! 
It's me, Moon Lord. I'm super weak. I'm such a baby. Don't you mean Goo Goo Gaga, Moon Lord? I'm pretty sure you mean Goo Goo Gaga. I'll come back for that stuff. I gotta go sell some shit. Do I even want to bully any more bosses after that, guys? Well, one for sure. And that's the uh, Empress of Light. So let's fight her again. Kill it. You won't kill it on your own? I'll kill it then. No, I broke the game again. I can't use my whip. There you go. I had to kill it with an axe, guys. Here she is, dragging my Terra Prismas over, doing a solid 25, 28,000 DPS with these bad boys. It just be like that, man. It just be like that. Before we end this, guys, I want to do one final thing. I just want to give a proper send off to Skeletron Prime, because I remember I had some trouble with him. He was kind of being an asshole to me. And I did eventually overtake him, but uh, I want to just do it one more time. I just want to assert some dominance. Got a T-pose on this bitch. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to T-pose while I kill him, because I think that's extra funny. So basically, oh yeah, I can pick that up. Summon him, T-pose, watch him die. <laughs> oh, I hiccuped during my laughter. Have the turntables. All right, guys, I think that's where we're gonna end this video slash series. That's the end of Terraria with the infinite summons hack. I can try this on Calamity if you wanna see it. So let me know if you do. But either way, thank you so much for watching these videos. They've been a blast to make. I'm loving the Terraria content and I think you guys are too. So that makes me really happy. I'm just trying to say thank you. If you hit the like button, thank you for that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.